This segment of Del Marva Life is brought to you by Seaford Animal Hospital. Well, it's that time of the week where we introduce you to the many furry friends here on Del Marva who are looking to be adopted. With so many shelters all over the peninsula, there are animals sitting not far from where you live that are looking for their forever home. Brian Spiros joins us once again with our four animals of the week. Oh, oh it's oh, Keely! Oh, oh, oh. Look at that face. Look Isn't at that it? face, guys. <laughs> yeah, Keely's here with me. She's had a costume change, which we'll talk about in just a moment. But as you said, we have some adorable dogs. And pay close attention, especially if you're looking to add a new cat or dog to the family. So here we go with our first animal. We have Clover, who is at the Humane Society of Wicomico County in Salisbury. And can we just sit here and look at this dog and discuss how cute she is. She's a seven month old beagle and we're told she's full of kisses and fun. Now keep in mind she is young and will no doubt need training and some extra attention. Now to Queen Anne's County Animal Services in Queenstown. This is Mittens. She's three years old, a domestic short hair cat and she's described as very mellow. So if you're looking for a chill, cool cat, Mittens is for you. Now to the Delaware SPCA in Georgetown. We have two animals from there. First up, we have Gator. He's two and a half years old. He's a lab shepherd mix. Now he was adopted out already, but brought back because he has a lot of energy. So he needs an owner who has time to play and exercise with him. And finally, we have Geraldine. Is that not the best name for a cat? She's about a year old domestic short hair cat. She does not like noisy surroundings, so she would be better off in a nice, quiet, home. So there are our animals. And you know, Jimmy and Lisa, we've been doing these segments for several months now, talking about how important it is to adopt. And while I have Keely here, I'll tell you her story. My wife and I adopted her from the Delaware SBCA in Georgetown three years ago. And since then, she has been a wonderful addition to our lives. So it is so important to adopt. And now here she is on TV, dressed as either an alligator, dinosaur, or a lizard, because my wife and I don't seem to know exactly what this costume is. But needless to say, she looks cute. Look at the camera, Keely. And with that said, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. <laughs> Keely is definitely a Cinderella story. Dad, why do I have to wear this and you're not wearing anything? That's, Good yeah. point. We expect to see you as a dragon next time, Brian. Uh, well, still ahead on Del Marva Life, all it took was one open mic night for these guys to get together, and their music is a sweet sound of the ears. We are so excited to have the Stims with us today. They take the Del Marva Life stage next. Yeah, I'm but first, it's almost time for the annual Waterfowl Festival in Easton, and we want to give you tickets to be part of the fun. There's something for all ages, including art and nature activities, a fishing derby, goose and duck calling contests, and so much more. Here's the drill. We will announce a winner each weekday through November 6th. Each winner will receive two tickets valid for the entire festival, which takes place November 8th through the 10th. To enter, all you have to do is go to DelmarvaLife.com, click on the Show tab at the left side of the page, then select the Contest tab located on the right side and fill out the form. Good luck, everyone! And congratulations to today's winner, Michael Delicio from Frederica Kent County. Enjoy the festival!